Hello, welcome back. Another week, another episode of Miss Marvel. We're on episode 5, we're nearing the end, and if we don't get some fucking backstory, I mean, we've been getting little bits, but if we don't meet the great-grandmother this episode, I am going to riot. I have, I have been saying every episode after one another, I'm like, I wonder if we'll get the backstory, I wonder if we'll get great-grandmother this episode, and we never get it, and it's driving me nuts. But last episode actually was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I like the red da dagger stuff. I like Finn in Pakistan. It's very interesting. Very fun to see. Like, cool. Like, I never know if it's like they actually film there or set. So I'm just going to say cool place. Because obviously it would be based off the real place. But everything looked great. Um, but yeah, I, I am enjoying. I don't really like the villains. but I, And two of them are dead. Yes. Thank God. Like... <laughs> I, I'm excited that I hope they all die because they're getting on my nerves. Uh, also, I'm still sick, so sorry about my nasally sound. Is it any better than how I usually sound? Probably not. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, I have a link to my Patreon down below in the description. Oh, people know what that means. Like, subscribe, let's get into it. Well, for one, I'd like to stop trampling on my poor roses, but uh, from the looks of it, I think you need more help than they do. Well, you sh she should still get off your garden. No. Ma'am, you're very defensive. No, thank you. Okay, that's a little bit better. There's uh, food and a place to rest if you need to use my cottage. Oh. He's like, you're welcome anytime, Miss Lady. She's like, well, I've been sleeping under a fucking tree, so maybe I'll go in and fall in love and live the rest of my life here. Thank you for making a home for me here. Oh, God. I was just about to say, have they fucked? But yes, they they have. So is that Kamala's grandmother? Oh, Kamala grandmother as a fetus. So they're part human, part a jinn, correct? I really forget how everything works, but I think that's what it is. Or is this the annoying woman? Jamal. So this is where you've been hiding. Yep. So she's always been an evil cow. Oh, I don't trust you ever. Has she ever given you a hug before? That should set off some red flags. Like, her oh, right here. We've searched everywhere for you. But now that I've found you, we can put our plan into action. What was your plan? Were you actually actually exiled here or are you here to just do bad things? That's the real question. Oh. How, does she? Of course. Of course I do. This is her home now. I hid the bangle for safekeeping. Retrieving it would take some time. Oh, good lie. She's like, hubby, we gotta get the fuck out of here. And then we will all go home. Together. Oh, this woman is crazy. I guess she just wants to go home, but... Going home might kill everyone on Earth. You know what I mean? We don't know how that works currently. Make sure Sana gets on that train tonight. Promise me, Hassan. Nothing is going to happen. Well, we might have like six or so people try and murder me. So, something definitely might happen. You turned your back on us. You're yeah, well, you you kind of suck. Aisha, that's one. It'll be okay with that. She'll be here. She's actually here. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> oh. 
if it's the last thing I do. Oh, she ain't coming back. It won't work. That's my no. Why did she just walk the other way? Like, is she not gonna go after the bangle? Oh, Ash is fucking dead. <laughs> oh, she's gonna like drop on, drop on the ground. She's gonna get tr stampeded. Does she? I think she's still a little bit behind. No, you saved Nani like the story. She's okay. This is your job, darling. Go save your grandmother, Kamala. We like a little bit of time play. Come on, chop chop. Your grandmother's cra- Oh, she dead. She fucking dead. Oof. Just getting stabbed at a train station? What a shit way to go. Aisha, rest in peace. I feel sorry for you. Oh, just left on the side. What's- Oh. <coughs> what is that? Is that like the doorway back to their world? It's open. Um, we don't want that though. Okay, good. Oh shit! Bones and all. Ooh. Yeah, not the way I plan to go out. Crystallized then made of bones. Okay, Kamala, you gotta like, like grab it and like trick it. It's gonna break all of Pakistan, so I think you really need to contain this thing. Yeah, no, go through. Oh, no, but she can still go through. It's fine. Go! Make it. Yeah, ch keep believing that. Who fucking come runs alive? He'll be fine without you. You're a shit mother. <laughs> I hate this woman. I left him behind. Go back and get him. No, she doesn't care. I don't think Kamran wants to be with this mum. Kamran. Um. Ooh, that looked kind of goofy. What the hell happened? What happened to him? What, he's just got powers now? Circle Q. Okay, we're back. And we're gonna meet, uh, see Bruno again. Hi, Bruno. Is Bruno gonna get, like, stabbed in an alley? Come run. Is he just gonna become evil now? I don't know where else to go. Or are you two gonna become best friends? That'd be cool. I want them to become lovers. That would be made way more interesting. It's one of my favorite elements. Okay. You're interesting. <laughs> Is you're a car guy as well? No, wrong Tesla. Dude, she left you behind to fend for yourself. What makes you think she's coming back? And your mum's dead. You're behind like some kind of wolf. You don't get it. Well, she's currently turned to a skeleton, a crystal skeleton. Enemies to lovers. Enemies to lovers. We'll stay here. We'll figure it out. Well, I don't know if you're hungry. Oh, no. Out of town. That is it. You're dead. Bridge. These drones are, like, low-key kind of scary. Oh. You have powers too? Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, how did he get powers? His mom just died and he has powers now. Did he get a bangle or not? He just has... Why does he not need a... 
Bangle to have powers. Okay, so I guess the last episode is just going to be us fighting, maybe coming home and fighting the defense cleanup crew who I thought may be good, but they're probably maybe still bad because they want to kill Cameron. I just, Cameron and Bruno <laughs> need to become enemies to lovers because I think that would be the most fun outcome for this show. Um, but yeah, another good, I did like the backstory on Aisha. A lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff. I like that the mum finally figured out that her family's made of magic and crazy shit happens. Because now she might be fucking riding Kamala's ass so hard. And maybe we can get away with better fucking superhero. This, this show definitely hasn't gone where I thought it was going. But I guess that's kind of a welcome change. Um, and I'm definitely enjoying it. But I, I'm curious how they're going to do this last episode. Because this felt like it kind of could have been if you didn't add that last bit. Um, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.